Wow, overexposed. Anyway, let's have a look. It's because it's quite sunny here, I should move it a bit. That'll do. Nope, that's still too sunny. Right, Facebook. Facebook was... It used to be pretty good, actually. Better than MySpace, anyway, because that was getting a bit crazy. Full of weirdos and freaks and bands. Hey, man, listen to my band. Right, fuck off. Because Facebook was good for being essentially like a massive address book. And you could, you know, find people that you've been looking for for a long time because they didn't have stupid names on MySpace. They just had their real names. So you could find friends that had been missing for years, you know? Um, and... This is actually my favourite thing about Facebook, is the fact that I can look at all the people that were mean to me at school and bullied me, and look at how fat and sweaty and bloated and ugly they are, and how much older than me they look, and that's fantastic. That is the best thing about Facebook. But, recently, because I'm getting older, you see, I just like to moan about random things that, you know, you could just ignore in life, but they're starting to piss me off. The unnecessary Facebook fan pages. Basically, every day I'll wake up and there'll be something else stupid like, seven of your friends became a fan of slush puppies. Yeah. Well done guys, you have meaningful lives. I mean, slush puppies are okay, but do you really need to meet with other people and discuss it on a fan page? Is that what the world's come to? Let me see, I think of a few I've seen over the past few months that has led me onto this rant. Hmm. So and so has become a fan of clean underwear. Yeah. I think that's a given, you know? It's kind of what you're supposed to do. I mean, how many days do you have to go without clean underwear to need to join a group appreciating clean underwear? That sounds to me like someone that's been a long time in filthy pants that they felt the need to join with other people online and celebrate clean pants. Anyway. And one of the Facebook groups I found was about something like, um, is a fan of sleeping with one leg out of the bed. And I took a look at this page and there's actually people discussing, like, oh yeah, can't sleep any other way. That's totally the best way to sleep, man. Um, and as stupid as they are, there are even dumber ones, like, become a fan of breathing. Oh yes, it exists. And eating. Yeah, that's on there too. I'm sure there's probably sleeping, rolling around on the floor. And then there's the ones you wish people really wouldn't share the information, like, um, I don't know, six of your friends became a fan of rough sex. Like, thanks for that. And the worst thing about that situation was the fact that, you know, my curiosity got the better of me. I wanted to see which of my friends wanted to announce themselves publicly as, you know, big slags. So I pressed, tried to press, like, the number of friends to see who was on the list, and I accidentally joined that group. And then the panic kicked in. The panic of, oh, my mum's on Facebook. My dad's on Facebook. My brother's on Facebook. You. So that's not good. That didn't look good. And I had to like find where it was and like go and, un, you know, unjoin the group. And I was like, oh crap. So yeah, that was kind of lame. So in that case, my moaning about what other people do with their lives kind of backfired, I suppose. I think there are many, many more stupid groups that I've forgotten about that I've seen in the past. But I can't find them again, and I can't be bothered to find them again just for the point of this video. So, if you've seen any, like you, um, if you've seen any Facebook groups that kind of really annoy you because they're just that stupid, uh, post them in the comment box and stuff, or you know, if you really want to. Oh, my elbow is itchy. Maybe I should become a fan of itching my elbow.